So in this video, we're looking at the various incentives and opportunities for an investor or a business to invest in and expand into Zambia. The reason we're doing this is to raise awareness of the opportunities to invest and help raise the profile of these African countries. We develop high-end booty hotel resorts as well as turning around and investing in distressed businesses. So what I'm sharing in this video are some of the things that we're interested in ourselves for, for us to make that decision of whether to invest in a particular project somewhere. I'm recording this video in 2023, so, so some of what I'll talk about in the video might have changed by the time you watch it. All of the inf information I'm sharing in this video comes from what we've gathered from various sources, but if you are interested in digging deeper, I'd encourage you to, to reach out to the Government Investment Agency, which in this case is Zambia Development Agency. Obviously, if you're, if you're an investor looking to invest into hotel-related projects or you're a hotel group looking to expand into another country, then I'm happy to have a conversation and see if I can help you to get what you're looking for. So what I've found when I'm looking at various countries is that each one will have a number of industries that they're most focused on developing and attracting external investment for. And some of those will get better in incentives than the rest. In this case, Zambia seems to be most favorable towards mining, agriculture, manufacturing, tourism, and, and energy. Something else which I think is probably one of the more important things uh, when you decide whether to invest in a country or not, it's whether you speak the same language. You've got to be able to communicate with people. Now, I'm excluding local languages. What I'm most interested in is the official language that's spoken in that country. So in this case, the official language of Zambia is English. The business climate rating determines how easy it is or how risky it is for a business to operate in that country. So the scale runs from A1 being the best through to E, which is the worst. Now, most of the incentives available for many of the African countries are based on a reduction in taxes. So if you're investing more than half a million US dollars in a priority sector, the corporation tax will be zero for five years. The import duty is also zero for five years, and so are dividend taxes. The VAT rate is 16%, but in some cases this goes to zero depending on the sector. Now the standard corporation tax rate is 35%, and the personal income tax rate is 37.5%. And if you're investing in a country, you probably want to know that you can get there easily. So you can fly into the country flying from Nairobi, Amsterdam, Johannesburg, Dubai, Zimbabwe, Namibia, Angola, Malawi, and Botswana. The population of Zambia is around 63 million people. There's an annual birth rate of 2.8%. And if we look at the number of people in each age group, you can see that 43% of the population is at school age. So combining that with the birth rate, it means that over the next 20 years, there'll be a massive increase in population. And those that need things like food, housing, and even just basic essentials, it, it, this is like the, the baby boomer generation of the Western countries. But it also means there'll be a strong supply of people to step into those roles of delivering what people need. If you compare that to Western countries where companies just, just can't find enough staff to deliver what the customers need, I think this, this provides a much better opportunity, a, a better opportunity and an option for anyone considering whether to invest in a Western country versus investing in a, in a developing country like this. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you've not seen my other videos, I've recorded over 400 videos on various topics like this relating to business, travel, or other interests. So, so go and check them out if you are interested in that.